been getting a lot of questions lately around what do I do when my partner isn't doing the work? What do I do when I want him to do the work? I want to see him flourish. He speaks a little bit about it, but doesn't take action. What do I do? Do I force him? Do I put pamphlets out on the table? What do I do? We can't force anyone to do anything they don't want to do. We can force them, but it doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like they are invested, like they're fully there. And that becomes problematic because then we're in a relationship where we are giving way more than we want, where we feel we are mothering or fathering our partners. And that doesn't feel good. And it doesn't feel like it's a real relationship. It's an equitable relationship. And what happens then is complementary wounding starts pushing, pushing against itself. Resentment builds, frustration, anger, people shut down. All you can do is this, from a pragmatic perspective, is do your own deep work. Continue to do that. Get clear on your values. Get clear on what your non-negotiables are in relationship. And then set healthy boundaries around what your needs are. Now, when you do that, and you do that in a way that comes from compassion and heart and love, the relationship will go one of two ways. Your partner will either witness and see how important personal growth or growing in the relationship or growing in yourself is to you, or he or she will continue to shut down, move away, push you away. And in that instance, you have to make a decision. What are your non-negotiables? What's more important to you? I will admit, it's more women that come to me with this question than men, that's for sure. To be honest, it would be like nine point something times out of 10. And when this happens, the opportunity is as a woman to step into your core femininity, to step into that core feminine essence of compassion, non-judgment, empathy and understanding. That doesn't mean to be overly submissive or to lose yourself or to contort yourself or to people please. Not at all. There's shadow elements of expression. It means to express yourself from a place of love and heart. Come to your partner and explain to them and express to them how important this work is to you, what it would mean to you, to your connection. Yes, your partner may have a fear of intimacy, getting close. That personal growth may open up aspects of him that he cannot deal with. He has deep fear around that deep trauma around that. I did a video yesterday, which will come out over the next few weeks on why men can't and don't cry and why men won't cry. In other words, why men struggle to emote and struggle to deal with emotional pain. At some point, you'll have to make a decision. What are your non-negotiables in relationship? What do you really need in order to thrive, in order to flourish, in order to feel safe? in order to feel connected and that you're growing in relationship. Come from compassion, speak your truth. Don't force anything onto anyone and at some point you'll make a decision about what you truly, truly need. And if all else fails, spend time on your own with yourself. Yes, you can have a goal or a dream and a yearning to be in a conscious relationship, and maybe you need to be on your own just a little longer to learn how to deal with some of these difficulties that arise when being in relationship, doing that on your own. And of course, the best way to do that is in relationship, but you have to have someone that's willing. You have to have someone that's open and ready and willing to do that work. And in order to find that and create that in your life, maybe there's aspects of you that need deeper equilibration, deeper connection, understanding, knowing. Pound blessings to you and I'll speak to you soon.